Hey everyone, today I'm going to be looking at assault rifles and ghost recon breakpoint to see which one is the most efficient at not only dealing high damage output, but also consistent damage output. As I play mostly PvP, this video will be focused mainly on showing which guns are best in a PvP setting. The attributes I'll be comparing in this video are accuracy, handling, range, recoil, bullet damage, and rate of fire. I'm also going to be showing the burst damage for each weapon. This is just the damage per bullet multiplied by the rate of fire. If you don't fully understand what any of these attributes mean, check out the description below for an explanation of each. So here's our SC20K. Burst damage is 27,200. So it's got a pretty decent recoil and a tight shot spread. My only issue is that it doesn't have a panoramic sight. Next up, we have the M4A1 Assault Variant. The best-in-class RPM and high bullet damage gives this the highest burst damage of all the guns I'll be looking at. The only problem is it has very harsh horizontal recoil, which is what causes the most problems when trying to control your gun. Now we'll look at the SC40K. Just like the 20, it has very reasonable recoil and a tight shot spread, but again, no panoramic sight. The AUG Assault. It has decent burst damage, but good luck hitting your shots. Both recoil and accuracy are very poor. Not a gun I'd ever choose to use. Next is the ARX 200. Another gun with decent burst and has very little recoil for the first few rounds, but after that it kicks like a mule. Only a gun I'd use to one-tap NPCs. The 416 has fairly low damage and the recoil is a bit high, but it's consistent, so it's fairly easy to control once you get used to it. The M4A1. Although it has a lower burst damage than the M4A1 Assault variant, the recoil is much easier to control, making it the favorite of many players. The 553 has very little recoil, even with no handling bonuses. Although its burst damage is a little low, it's a great gun for newer players. The MK17 variant looks good on paper, with its high bullet damage but its low RPM and high recoil put this gun at the bottom of today's list. Now we're going to look at range with a few assault rifles, first being the ARX 200. With its high bullet damage, it can four-shot an enemy at 40 meters. Now let's look at the 553. If you remember, its burst damage was quite low, but it can still 5 shot at 40 meters. And now the M4A1. Even though it had a much higher burst damage than the 553, it still takes 5 shots. But let's not forget about the rate of fire. The M4A1 is firing at 950 RPM whereas the 553 is at 700 RPM. So with the M4A1, you'll be able to get those five bullets out much faster. In fact, even at ranges of over 100 meters, you can still five shot with the M4A1. It's not until 180 meters that it takes six shots to down someone, and then 240 meters to seven shot them. Now there's one thing I need to talk about before moving on, and that's the 100 round mag for assault rifles. This is a very strong attachment and is only available for the 416, 553, and the M4A1. In the stat sheet, it says that this magazine increases vertical recoil by 20%, but as you'll see in a second, that's just not true. So now I'm going to compare how these three guns stack up when equipped with the 100 round mag. 
first we have the 416. You can see it's it's got a it's got a consistent recoil. It's not jumping all over the place. But, uh, the, the shot spreads a little bit a little bit wider. And the 553 the things a laser. It's, it's got almost no recoil. And the M4A1, it's a little jumpy, but if you can get used to it, that rate of fire combined with the 100 round mag makes it an absolute beast. So in the end, for people who are new to shooters or just having trouble controlling recoil, the 553 with the 100 round mag is a great choice. You're going to hit more shots, and more shots equals more damage. But for more experienced players, I'd have to go with the M4A1. The rate of fire is unmatched, and with decent bullet damage and manageable recoil, this gun simply outclasses the rest. Now, of course, everybody has their preferences, so this is not intended to be an end-all, be-all guide. I'm just trying to help you make better decisions when choosing your firearm. Here I'm just showing my personal setup for my M4A1. As you can see, I have the standard barrel attached. But I've since changed that to the short barrel after seeing that the range doesn't make a huge difference. When I was almost done making this video, a friend of mine suggested taking a look at the VHSD2. I don't have much experience with this gun, so I checked it out. It's got a moderate first damage, but if you look at the recoil pattern, you'll see that the first 15 to 20 rounds have pinpoint accuracy and almost no recoil. After that, it gets a little hairy though. So I just wanted to add this section for people who like to shoot in short bursts. This gun will be amazing for you. Thanks so much for checking out my video. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please hit the like button or subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a bit of gameplay from the other day.